in the previous chapter we have understood about thermal analysis we understood some basic concepts about thermal analysis and uh, what are the different types of heat transfers after which we uh, saw how to understand or how to perform a thermal analysis uh, in ansys workbench now the next chapter that we are going to start with is thermal stress analysis now first thing uh, before we start analyzing or we start performing the thermal stress analysis in ansys workbench we need to understand what is thermal stress is. now whenever a structure is heated or cooled it will expand or it will contract if this expansion or contraction is restricted by some boundary condition thermal stresses will be induced in the model now let us understand this by an example suppose we have a simple rod the circular rod that we have and we are heating it we are applying some temperature over here and we are heating it now due to this heating what happens is it will the material or the uh, elements over here they will start expanding okay now because of this expansion now suddenly if i fix it or if i uh, if i apply some boundary conditions over here and if i fix this what will happen there is no space for this object to expand because of this restriction what will happen thermal stresses will be or stresses will be generated over here or it will be induced in this so now this stress that is induced in the in the body will not be calculated you will not be able to calculate this in the thermal analysis that is why we need to use another analysis system just to find out or just to calculate the stresses that are induced in the body because of the temperature apply in this case we have not applied any forces or pressures for the stresses to get induced but the stress is getting induced in the model because of the temperature so we will understand how to perform this thermal stress analysis in ansys workbench okay now in ansys workbench you can perform the thermal analysis and use the results of the thermal analysis as an input to the static structural analysis the stress that is induced in the system can only be analyzed or can only be found using a static structural analysis because in thermal analysis results uh, you will only get the thermal results you will not get the structural results and stress is a structural quantity so we will have to add another static structural analysis system and the results from the thermal analysis will be used as an input in the static structural analysis now we can perform these analysis separately by using the separate analysis system and then you can use the links to connect them the same way we saw how to connect the uh, static structural analysis and linear buckling analysis the same thing you can do or else we can use the custom systems to perform the thermal stress analysis so when you talk about custom systems we have one custom systems option in the toolbox there you have an option which is called as a thermal stress so you can use this option also which is available over here in custom systems you have thermal stress option so when i double click on this and if i add this to the project window you will see that two systems get added thermal system plus the static structural system either you can use this or you can first perform the steady state thermal analysis and then link it with the static structural analysis okay so we will see both the methods to understand what and how to perform the thermal stress analysis okay so now we have understood what is the thermal stress and why it is induced and how it is induced in the system now let us see how to perform the analysis using the thermal analysis thermal stress analysis system 